Help catch sex offenders in San Diego tonight at 5.30. I was at the water, Carly. She pulled me clear. She was yelling at me. We made it out, and I guess, I guess I passed out. Are you sure it was Carly? Yeah. It explains. St. Christopher medal. I gave one to Carly a few years back. Where did you find it? One of the tunnels. Well, so that would that would have to mean that Carly escaped from Roselawn and somehow wound up on the train. Not possible. All right, tell me what happened. Why did you leave Roselawn? There was a man. And he was gonna use me to hurt Sonny and Jason. A man named Ruiz. He told me that when Sonny and Jason showed up to visit me, that he was going to kill them. So I ran away and I jumped on the train. I went to warn Sonny, but the man he was following me and I saw him on the train. I think he caused the crash. Nicholas. And you, they were wrong. That you were dead. Oh, in my heart, you were still in this world. I've never been happier to see anyone in my whole life. I thought I'd lost you. No, you're wrong. I wish I were. You know, you know, no, Alexis, she has a will of iron. It's not a matter of will at this point. Alexis, she she lost so much blood during the delivery. She needs a dozen things I can't okay, give her. You, 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 so you don't have to repeat it, because I, I just I don't accept what you have to say. Craig. I'm right, I'm right here. Oh, hey. She's she's here. She's here with me. Can you see her? Huh? Can I talk to you. Something's wrong. No. What's happening to me? Nothing. It's it's just it's been a little overwhelming, that's all. Especially when you've just been given the best reason in the world to live. You're a terrible liar. How did you ever get to be such a good DA? <laughs> See, right there, you're, you're complimenting me as a prosecutor. That just proves that you're delusional. You're not dying. I want to hold her.
and I've waited for you for such a long time. I'm just gonna hold you right next to my heart. A lot of people walking around seeing Christopher medals. Anybody could have just dropped them. Yeah, I mean, you have to admit it's a quite a coincidence. If Carly, you know, if she was missing from Roselawn, I'd have heard about it. Unless they didn't know she was gone. Hey, hey, hey. Laura? Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're not fine. Jason, you can barely stand. You're lucky to be alive. You're pushing it, okay? I'm gonna go and get her some help. Will the two of you please take on the road? She's got the drug. No, no, no. I'm taken. not letting you go anywhere alone. I'm going with you. You are only gonna slow me down. Yeah, please do don't it. do that. Jason has a point, Sam. You're not going to go into God knows what without backup. I'm going with you. You, you are in no better condition than he is in, so please let what me do it, what this. Does that mean, what does that mean? I can cover more ground on my own. That's what it means. Just be careful. Hey, buddy. Are you alone? Yeah. Are you the cavalry? Hey, we're getting ready to drop lines and gather survivors. We're finally gonna be able to haul you people out of here. Have some water. Thank you. Is that what you're carrying? <laughs> water for the victims? These are explosives. Oh. In case we have to blast our way through the debris to reach the survivors. Michael and we're gonna be gay. The sons are fine. And if Manny gets out of that tunnel, he could go after them. Michael and Morgan are at their fathers are surrounded by guards. Can we have to make sure because Manny is evil? And he hates Sonny. Can you please call the house and make sure my place is okay? I know every detail. Look, I would call myself when everyone thinks I'm crazy and everybody wants to send me back to Excuse me, ma'am. I need to ask you some questions. I don't want you to think that life is going to always be this scary. It won't, I promise. You're going to have so many adventures. And you're going to discover so many things. Fuzzy caterpillars and rainbows and the sound of church bells. I've made a very good choice of dads for you. All you need to do is just look into his eyes and realize that everything you need will be right there. And he's going to be the one person in this world that you can depend on. Bumps and bruises and birthdays and boys. Whoa, watch that be doesn't really <laughs> sit well with me. Boys, she's going to have to wait till she's about 30. Oh, is this okay? He's going to have trouble facing the fact that the 12-year-old boys are going to love 12? You trying to give me a heart attack? You can handle it. And him. I'm not gonna lie to you, Molly. It appears that my time is running out. Figure it out, sweetie. No. Get out of my way. Hey. You know, 
Some rescue worker showed up with a pack of explosives. Just when I needed them the most. I press this button, and our whole world ends like that. See, you can't fight fate, sweetness. Can't fight it. I think your questions can wait. This woman has been traumatized. There are doctors here. I'll make sure she gets whatever help she needs after I've questioned her. Look, it won't take long and her answers could be important. Hey, Mac! Come quick. Uh, something's happened. Mac! There's been an explosion at the new rescue site. We need to get over there now. Let's go. Let's go. Why'd you cover for me? It's okay. These guys are fine. She just proved that. You won't turn me in? No. You get her out of here before Matt comes back and gets her. Thank you. Come on. Another explosion. We need to get Alexis and her baby out of here right now. Hi. Robin! Hi. 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 Oh, it's a strange place for a reunion. Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm not complaining, though. They said that you... Saved Alexis and her baby. Is it okay to go in there? There's something that you need to know first. I have taken a long time to imagine a glorious life for you. I've dreamt it, and it's done, Molly. A life full of friends and love and career and a family all your own. It's a life built on a foundation of the most amazing memories that outweigh the regret because in the end there are only some. And if God is very good, somewhere in your memory there'll be a little piece of me. And your dad will help you with that. Yes, I, will. I want so much for Yes, you are. You're going to take her. You're going to put Molly first, and you're going to go. Go! Go! I don't understand. If they can find a way out, why can't they find a way in? You know, and we don't have a stretcher. We can't pick up Alexis. It could jostle her and possibly rupture the sutures. Gosh, there's sort of some way we could help. There is. I want you to make sure that Alexis and uh, my daughter lives. You won't, you won't. I know Alexis, okay? She's not about to to leave her brand new baby motherless, okay? So you just keep her here and leave the rest to us, okay? This 
is unacceptable. You don't get to give up, you understand me? Too many people care about you, especially that beautiful baby girl you just had. I don't exactly have a choice here. And damn it, I'm not saying goodbye to you. I'm so proud of you. You're a wonderful man. No, I'm not. I'm completely misguided, and I make too many damn mistakes. That's what I'm trying to tell you, Alexis. I, I need you here. You understand me? I need you here to give me reality checks. You're the Cassidine with a heart. Listen to it. So the reality check you need. You ready? Yeah. Hey, well, Mac was asking about you. He's going to be happy to see you. Oh, I can't go. <laughs> I have to stay here in case I can are you sure help. That's, are you sure that's a good idea? Yes. Okay, well, I'll, I'll let Mac know that you're all right. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you were out here. The fewer people you have to deal with, the faster we can go. Emily, come on. It's not like you can't keep up. I think I can be more, more productive please, family, here. Please. It's my job, Nicholas. I need to help. Okay, sweetheart. Sorry I gotta leave you, but uh, I'm sure Aunt Courtney here is gonna treat you like the precious little car girl that you are. It's just I, uh, I need to be with Mommy more right now. I love you, baby girl. And I swear after this, I'm never gonna let you out of my sight again. such a disadvantage. I I can't monitor Alexis's vitals. I can't take her temperature. Which, which means basically it's, it's all guesswork, right? You, so there's still a hope that she could she could hang on until the, the rescue crews arrive. If a person's will is strong enough, <laughs> you know, anything is possible. But Should be in pain. The best thing that we can hope for is that she just falls asleep. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna go through the luggage again, see what I can find.
Then you only did half of what I asked you. Well, well, what can I tell you? It still gives me perverse pleasure to find you. For the cake. This is close to where I go down. Yeah, well, that doesn't do as much good, Jax, unless somebody else is trying to get in. You know what I'm saying? No, a positive attitude could hurt. Neither would a healthy dose of reality. This is still the shortest way in from the outside, okay? Now, either you argue with me, or you want to help me find a way out. Better hair days. Haven't we all? It's good to see you. <laughs> I, I appreciate everything you're doing for Jason. I mean, in spite of, in spite of everything. Well, of course. I mean, his life is on the line. Everything else pales in comparison. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this Re this is Reese Marshall. Hi. Robin Scorpio. Nice to meet you. Nice. Where's Sam? What? She's uh, finding a way out. Yeah, in the meantime, she wanted us to get Jason to you as quickly as possible. I think her seizure. Both. I, th I think I fell in one of the tunnels. And you're sitting here telling me about it when by all rights you should be dead. You must have some guardian angel. Crazier than I am. Just try not to think about it. He tried to kill me. I had to fight him off. I had to hit him in the head with a rock, and then he shot at me. So I shot him back, and I thought I killed him, but then he got away. You know, it's okay. You're alive. That's all that matters. Where are you taking me? Just trying to get some rest, all right? You're taking me back to Roselawn now, too. You think I'm crazy? You think I made this whole thing up? Carly. Stop the car! Stop the car or I'll jump! Carly, I swear Carly. I will! You open this door. Just stop it, all right? Stop door. it! I'm not gonna hurt you, You're all right? Liar. Stop it! Today at four. Carly. You could have killed us both. I'm sorry, but I'm not going back to Roselawn, I hate I understand you. that, but you need to listen to me. Someone will find out you're missing sooner or later, and they will call the police, who will investigate, and they will find out you were on that train. Manny was on that train. Sam and Robin saw him. So let Sam and Robin tell the police to search for Manny. You don't have to get involved. I need to see my boys. Carly? You have been committed to a mental hospital. If you refuse to go back, you'll only make things worse for yourself. Sam says you have a, you have a drug that could help Jason. It's experimental, and unfortunately, I don't have it right now. It was on the commuter train when it exploded. Okay, what are Jason's chances of surviving without it? Not good. But I haven't been able to give him a thorough examination out here, and I haven't seen his latest test results. Okay, we look for the drug. Oh. Okay. I 
thought you were clear of this. Did Robin tell you? Tell me what? Alexis what? Alexis had her baby as a, a little girl. Well, that's good news. Not exactly. I'm sorry, Sonny. Alexis isn't going to make it. <laughs> isn't she amazing? This tiny, perfect little girl. Yes. Yeah, she's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> you look amazing holding her, you know. I can't wait to, to see you holding our baby. We got a clear path for another 500 yards. We should, we should keep going. All right, well, what happens if we don't make it in time? I'm sure there'll be people there who, who can take care of Molly. Because I'm talking about Rick and Alexis. I mean, if they don't make it, what's going to happen to their little girl? Then I'll take her. I'll take her and I'll love her like she's my own. I, I hear congratulations are in order. Come on in. Lay back. Sorry to interrupt. The first time I've been glad to see you in years. I wanted to have a word with the fathers of my daughters. Help's on the way. I want you to take her. I want you to take Christina. Nobody's d dying here. I'm, su I'm even surprised you'd ask. I'm remembering who you really are. I want you to be that for her. Promise me. With all my heart. I have a request for both of you. What is it? I want you to let Molly and Christina be sisters. I want you to let them love each other and I don't want them to grow up like you did with hatred and anger and mistrust of each other. I want you to let them be the best that they can be. And if you let them, they might just teach you something. I need that bottle of vodka over there. Yeah, I could use a drink right about now myself. Robin and I have been using it as antiseptic. Yeah. Okay. Reese? Robin and I are going to go to the train, look for Jason's medication. Yeah. Um, I'd ask you to come along, but I know that you're hurting. No, I'm fine, no, no, Sonny. Really. You're not fine. I know you're just, you're just saying that. You need to sit this one out. Besides, at this point, I think Rick may need a friend. all the risks. You really love her, don't you? Yeah. And once we get out of here, if you don't tell her that as often as possible, then you don't deserve her. 
Is that your medical opinion? Oh, just a suggestion based on a terrible case of regret. I wish you wouldn't push this, Jace. You're in no condition to go after Sam or Sonny or anyone else. Are you listening to me? Rescue tunnel. The only good thing is I think he may be dead now. Come here. Come here. <sighs> Jason was the right car. He was on the train. Thank God you found her. I knew Carly would be too frightened to stray very far. You said you found her in the woods. That's right. She looks like she's been crawling through. Has Carly said anything to you? Just I'm sorry. Has this incident made you consider the drug regimen I recommended? I find myself in the peculiar position of agreeing with Mr. Corentos. I don't want my wife medicated. The rescue crew has been here. It means they'll try again. Yeah, I, th I think that cave in was caused by a blast. Now, when will they be here? Is that best chance out? Come on. Look, either you trust me on this, or we go back and we let fate decide. For sure. out of here. <coughs> You're only 200 feet from wide open space. Sorry, right, I'm gonna make it. I could, I could map out with Jesse where the others are. All right, someone critical. You got a map. Over here. Jace, it's unlike me. Okay, just hang in there. 
You're gonna be okay. Reese! Carly. I cut her for you, no one suspects a thing. Thanks. How are you? I'm scared. Well, you don't need to be. I'm right here. You never have to be afraid again. Cardi was on the train all alone. It doesn't make any sense. If we were on this train, if, if she was on the train, why don't we see her? Or why didn't she say anything to us? We were ah, right found here. it. <sighs> the lock is jammed. Okay. Move out of the way. I'm gonna, I got one left. Okay. Medication is intact. Thank God. All right. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go get Jason. I need you there. Where did Jason? What are Jason's chances with this? I have no guarantees, but I've had some progress. First, we have to convince Jason to take it. to you and Sam. <laughs> no one down here is going to see the light of day ever again. Stay tuned for scenes from the next General Hospital. On the next General Hospital. The calmer you are, the better it'll be for your baby. Sit back down. You're not going anywhere. I gotta find Carly. You are never happy with me. I'm trying to help you. You threw me out. Who wants to die first? 